3D printers can make everything from toys to artificial body parts to plastic guns, as long as it's not too big. Until now, the 3D printing industry is thinking much bigger. Here's Don Daler. Rising slowly from powdered metal, this engine part is being created by a 3D printer. The laser melts the nickel alloy layer by layer, each one the thickness of a human hair. It's called additive manufacturing, as opposed to subtractive, which is the old way of grinding down chunks of metal into usable shapes. Very, very complex. Very complex. It's actually an engineering marvel. Tom Preet is vice president of engineering for Pratt & Whitney. You're telling me this piece right here, complete with tapped holes here, the interior spaces, this was created as is in this, in this machine. This is correct. Jet engine makers like GE and Pratt and & Whitney see great potential in 3D printing. They hope to be producing parts for engines by next year. Essentially zero waste uh, because everything, all the material goes into making the part. Right now, engineers at the Pratt & Whitney plant in East Hartford, Connecticut, are using them for research and development. In the past, new designs could take months to create and test. That's no longer the case and they're downloading these models to these machines and with hours we're making the parts. It's truly enabling, it's truly revolutionary. The process isn't yet perfect. A study by MIT found problems with consistency. The products weren't always exactly alike. 3D printing is in some cases 100 times slower than traditional manufacturing, and the materials can cost 50 to 100 times those used in conventional production. But that is expected to change as demand increases. The aviation industry must also convince the FAA and the flying public the parts made this way are safe and convince suppliers to invest in these machines. While we're seeing great advantages of the technologies today, we know there's a long runway that we haven't even seen yet, so being able to continue to work on this is a very exciting thing for us. As this type of manufacturing increases, Tom Preet admits old-style factory jobs will be lost. But he says 3D printing is not only creating parts for airplanes, it's also creating high-tech jobs for the future. Don Daler, CBS News, East Hartford, Connecticut.